Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift in my next thrifting haul. Um, there's a lot to show you, so I think I'm going to get started on the clothes. So first off, I got this at a rummage sale. I think it's $2 I paid. It's a vintage Columbia fleece line hat. A little Velcro under the chin. This Infinity Scarf is an anthropology brand called Staring at Stars. Um, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. And these items, I probably paid around $4 total for all the pieces. Um, it was fill a bag. So I gave some stuff to my sister. So here's the rest of them. This is a velvet sort of military style jacket. It's an anthropology brand with the sheep tag on it. So I got that. I got this Athleta, just some Capri leggings. These are, this is a jack skirt. I just like the colors on it. This one I won't attempt to pronounce, so I'll show you the tag, but it's a, a white denim vest. I got a brand new a tag Gap Boyfriend Fit jeans. I got a few LuLaRoe pieces, which the LuLaRoe pieces is what my sister got. So this is the three pieces that I have left. Um, I think this is called a Lucy skirt. It's the one that goes to your ankles. It's a long skirt. It's a large. This is a LuLaRoe Irma. And I got a new tags LuLaRoe Lola. It's the lace skirt that goes about to a little below your knees. And last, I got this Zara Trafalic. They're sort of, they're very silky kind of pant style palazzo pants. Moving on to the bags. So first off, again, I can't pronounce that, so I'll just show you the tag. Um, I got this for $2. I believe it's the mini size of the uh, bags. I believe it's like a seven liter is what can fit in there. This I got from an estate sale. It looks almost like those uh, toiletry bags you get for free for buying perfumes. But this is a vintage Chanel toiletry bag. Um, I believe on the inside it is marked 1987 Chanel. So thought that was pretty cool. I got a few dust bags. One is Coach. The other one is Chanel, but again, I'm not sure if this is authentic. I don't believe it is, but I got it anyways, just to put some purses in there. This I got for a dollar at a garage sale. It's a Nina Ricci Paris purse. The straps have a lot of wear to them, but for a dollar, I couldn't just leave it. And for $2, I got this Coach wristlet. It just has a little mark right there, but for $2, that wasn't bad. I got a little brand new stethoscope for, I believe, $2. I found three sunglasses. I believe, I think two of these are prescription lenses. But in total, I think I paid $0.50, cents, $1, and $2. So I got two Coach sunglasses. Got this one. And these are Ray-Bans. And they came with the original case, but it, the case has some wear to them right there. And with the coach, they threw in this Ralph Lauren sunglass case. Perfumes, I got two of them. I paid 75 cents for this one. It's an Estee Lauder Cinnabar perfume. They're both almost brand new, filled to the top. This one's Oscar De La Renta. I paid 25 cents, the tag's missing, but I paid 25 cents for this at a different garage sale. I ended up with two cross pens. These are both uh, gold filled, and this one actually has a name uh, inscribed on it. So I probably paid a dollar a piece at garage sales for those. I got one little video game. I think I paid a dollar for that. Moving on to the jewelry. There is a lot of jewelry, so I'll try and go through this as quick as I can as well. Um, 
these two pieces were free. Um, this one's a sterling silver necklace chain. And this one's a gold filled chain. It came with a little pineapple at the end. This brooch is a Monet. It was 50 cents. And this is a Native American uh, pin. It is marked sterling right in here. And I paid 25 cents for that. This little pile right here, these are real pearls and these are gold beads. I don't know if they're 10 karat or 14 karat because uh, the clasp was not there. It was only these pieces left. But I got this as well with it. I thought this was just a safety pin on the jewelry table because they had advertised it as being costume jewelry only at the sale. But when I saw it and I looked right up there, it is marked nine carat and is also marked right on the stem as well, nine carat. So a dollar for all of that. This I got, I believe for 50 cents at a garage sale. It's a vintage gold filled uh, brooch. This pile right here, I paid $8 total. So if you follow my Instagram, you might've got a peek of this stuff. So I got a few uh, Givenchy pieces. They're vintage. These are clip-on earrings. They're marked right there. I believe they're also marked on the backing. And the other Givenchy was this bracelet. It is marked right there. Ring-wise, I got this because I just like the big stone in the center of it. It is an 18 karat uh, gold electro electroplated ring. And this one, you might see on the inside in there, it looks like it says 14 karat. But what it actually says is 1 30th 14 karat. But I like the look of the old ring. So I picked that up as well. I got some vintage cufflinks. It looked like some enamel work on the inside. And last from that sale was this uh, gold filled locket. It has an M initial on the front, but it is marked on the inside. It says Napoleon Elgin American made in the USA. And you could put two pictures in there. Moving on to this stuff. I got these at a Goodwill. I paid $10 for this watch and I think $3 for this necklace. This is a Stella and Dot um, gold filled necklace. I think they might have called it the Celestial necklace, but it has a lapis stone in the center right there. And this watch is a Nixon watch. It needs a new battery for sure, but let me show you the back. It is marked Nixon Minimal, the time teller. So I thought that was a really good price for just $10. These items, I paid $3 a piece. I took the chance on these hoops. I still need to test them to see if they're gold or not. But I picked up this coin. It's a old 1863 coin. I, I was just thinking of turning into like a charm on one of my charm bracelets. This stuff here, I paid $5. So first off, I got this uh, heart toggle bracelet. It is missing the clasp, but it is sterling. So I think I might have a extra sterling clasp to fix that. I got a sterling toe ring with little footprints in there. This, uh, it is sterling, but I think these are garnet stones in the center. And lastly, I got this piece. Um, I almost missed it. I didn't see it on the table because it was sort of camouflaging. But uh, I looked at it. It is marked 14 karat, but the clasp on this one is broken as well. But again, I have a replacement clasp for that. Moving on here. I paid $10 total. Um, sad story. I had the matching earring to this when I left the sale and was in my car. I don't remember dropping it at all, but somewhere along the way, I must have dropped it. So I lost one of the earrings. But anyways, 
This is a sterling necklace. I don't know the stone. It sort of looks like a smoky topaz. A smoky quartz, I think what they call it. But it's like a gray colored stone. And these I asked her to throw in if she would. And she said, sure. And these are both 14 karat earrings with little pearls in them. She couldn't find the matches to them either. But she said when she bought this one, these are real diamonds set in there. So I thought that was still a good deal for $10. Moving on here. I think I picked this up at a garage sale. I don't remember which one. It probably was thrown in with the rest of my jewelry. But it's a Tiffany & Co. bag. I've never seen a brown one before. But I've seen other people online having brown ones. So I just picked that up anyways. This sale, I paid a dollar a piece. So first off, I got a few cufflinks. These are Sterling and Pegasus cufflinks with ebony wood in the back. I believe they're swank. These ones are gold filled with mother of pearl on the top. This little pin, um, I think it's a service pin. It is marked 10 carat on the back and I believe those are little diamonds on the front, but it has some deep gouges on the front. So definitely a lot of wear on that one. This one has a 10 carat top. It's again, an, I think it's like a service pin, but the top is 10 carat. And this is a gold filled little charm pin duo. And lastly from that one was this long sterling necklace i believe these are like a lava stone in there but for a dollar was definitely a good buy for me um this stuff i believe i paid seven dollars total so i got these disney little charms there's three gold tone and one silver tone i got a sterling and glass beaded bracelet this is another sterling bracelet this one I believe is an anklet, a sterling anklet. I got a few pairs of earrings. This one almost looks like Larimar with a garnet hanging down from the bottom. I got a turquoise, got an onyx and sterling. And I got a sterling with pink CZ. Oh, these came with it as well. So I got three sterling necklaces. One has a little painter's palette on the charm, the pendant. And this one has sort of like a Native American inlaid uh, stone heart. These pieces I got along with the Chanel toiletry bag. So I paid $10 for the necklace, $5 for the earrings, and $1 for the charm. These earrings are marked 14 karat on the stem. This is marked 14 karat. And this necklace and pendant are marked 14 karat as well. These all came from a senior rummage sale. I think I paid 17 total. So first off, I got these costume necklaces. I just like the looks of them, especially this one, where it's like hands holding a marble. Uh, this one I think could be sterling with garnet. I didn't realize one of the garnets was missing right there. And the gold clasps kind of threw me off but there's no marking on it whatsoever. So, but I still got that, I still like it. And I got, this one was a fantastic find. It is a Judith Ripka necklace. It is marked right along that clasp around the top part of it. But it comes with a little dangle keychain or key. I got this sterling and turquoise lotus ring. It is marked right in there, um, 925 AKR China. And this one, it's a sterling flamingo brooch. And it is a James Avery piece. It has the little candelabra marking right there. And lastly, these pieces all came from one large garage sale. So I probably paid around $7 total for all this stuff because I did get some bed sheets and stuff as well at this sale. 
So first off, I got this uh, sort of natural stone chip necklace. This is a sterling necklace. This one, I believe, could be sterling, but it has no mark other than this. It's marked LH on one side and TB on the other. This is a sterling brooch. It is marked right in there. It says Monet Sterling. This one I thought could have been 14 karat because the clasp is 14 karat, but I believe they replaced that later on because on closer inspection, I could tell it's gold filled. So I'll just replace that clasp right here. This ring, it's missing a stone. It has I what I believe could be a ruby and I believe an opal with a little pearl at the end. But it has a marking that looks to me to say 16 karat. And I don't know if they make 16 karat. But I picked that up anyways. I think it could have been like a dollar out of all this. This one has no marking. So I definitely want to test that for sterling. And this picture frame is sterling. It is marked right here. It says uh, Wells Sterling, I believe. So yeah, that's all my finds. I hope you like them. Thank you.